So Julio, tell us about your dish. Well, I try to stick to my roots and I like spicy things. I never work with flank steak, but I try to do it well. Right. So I make a rub and then I made chipolini onion rings. Please enjoy. Great, thank you. Michael? Hey, How are we? I encrusted the salmon with the polenta and then there's a tomato puree on the bottom and grilled broccoli rabi that I tossed with some of the habanero oil I made. Excellent. Great. Please enjoy. Cheers. Good. Hi, chefs. We are excited to see what happened with the chocolate. Yes, yeah, so I had the chocolate and what I made for you is a seared salmon topped with a quickly fried basil leaf. The chipolini onions I kept almost close to raw. I like to eat things very much in its raw form. Good, well, we're nice hungry. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, chefs. Should we start with Michael? Absolutely. Okay. This is really nicely seasoned. And I like the idea that Michael used the polenta around the fish. I think it adds a really nice texture. Smart dish. I think with the broccoli, it's probably a little bit overcooked. What about that habanero oil? He could have kept a little bit stronger of the habanero because that would have been a nice tang in there. The stiffness in my hands started to come back, so plating was really hard. I couldn't hold pans, and that stiffness is just killing me. I guess Sally's dish. This is a dish we've been really waiting for. Yes. Dark chocolate. That's not bad. It's not bad at it's all, It's not right? bad. If I would see a salmon with actually a chocolate-flavored sauce on the menu, I don't think I would order it. <laughs> but I'm kind of surprised. There was a lot of ingredients that didn't make a lot of sense together. But <laughs> flavor-wise, it came out. Yeah. Did you taste the raw onion with it? Not sure I quite understand that concept. Now it just overpowered my whole life. Exactly. Let's see what Julio right. did. Now, Julio was done 10 minutes ahead. Yes. That scared me. It was not about who is the fastest. It's about the most appealing dish, right? Would you really play the dish 10 minutes before and sit in the window? Yeah. No. And the steak could have used a couple more minutes on the grill because in the center it was completely undercooked. But I have to say, that is pretty delicious. It is. If you were to say to me if I were going to be out and having dinner, which would I eat? Hmm. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be as easy as I thought. That's a little more difficult. Yeah. Hi, chefs. Hi, how are you? Hey, chefs. Well, that was a very interesting tasting for Hubert and I. <laughs> yes, and some surprises too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Michael, when he came to execution, your ingredients came together really well. The use of the polenta was very smart. Thank you, chef. I might have used more of the habanero in there to balance the sweetness of the tomatoes. And I think the rapini was overcooked. Yes. Sally, you had the challenge of having dark chocolate in this dish. That was probably the most, we were the most uh, concerned curious. and curious. <laughs> This dish came off as being a red wine sauce, so that was a very smart use of the chocolate in there. What didn't work for me was the raw onion. It overpowered the other parts of the dish. And as soon as we took a piece of onion, it killed it. I think, Julio, the way you approach your dish, between the mushroom, the vinaigrette, you used a little spice in there and actually added some texture by frying those onions. I think it was really well executed. That vinaigrette was... Very tasty dish. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I was concerned with you taking the whole flank steak and not cooking it ahead to sort of test it. Even by the way you cut it, it was like cut against the grain. It was undercooked. In the real world of a restaurant, you would not play the dish so early. But I think when it came to the flavors, that dish came together. Thank you, chef. All three dishes had their strengths and their weaknesses, but we only have two of you that can go forward. So I think, Michael, we've made the decision that you're moving forward. Great, awesome, thank you. Michael, as soon you went into it, you had a plan, made your cards right, and you created our favorite dish. Right. Matter of fact, I think that's going to go on Hubert's that's, menu. That's right. That. <laughs> I knew I put my best foot forward, and things fell into place really well for me tonight. 
Now Sally and Julio, this is where our challenge came in. The two of you were really close, although very much apart in style. So, on that note. Julio, you didn't make the cut. It was very close, flavors came together, but what we had to judge is you running a restaurant, running my restaurant. But really, Julio, I think, fantastic job with flavors, and I love to see that, because Thank for you. me, in the end, it's about food tasting delicious. Thank you very much. Great job, great job. I respect the criteria of the judges, but I also respect me as a chef. I want to have an Eros, definitely. <laughs> this is like just a step into my career, and I want to go forward. <laughs>